land. He loved his tractors and always did the chores. And as the farm grew, he irrigated more. Now Farmer John was simple, but not extremely so. He loved his land and he wanted it to know. So he threw out the chemicals and started learning more. Of course he kept his tractors and always did the chores. Now Lamrod came from college to work upon the farm. But he had his own ideas for Farmer John. He hated all the tractors smashing down the land and wasteful irrigation. And John about went mad because Lamrod was a true low-impact camper. He never built a fire or a tent. Not a fisherman or mountain biker. He wore vegan hiking boots without a tread. John, he said, I majored in environmental biology. Environmental ethics was my minor. You're a human, so you can't be close to the earth. So what if you're organic? If you kill groundhogs with water down the holes? Well, Farmer John was patient, but not extremely so. He was sick of Lamrod's intellect and moralistic show. His talk John said is fine in college, funded by the state. But I stay afloat, John said, by doing what it takes. John said, why not go to grad school and find like-minded friends? You could study agriculture in the economic realm. Farming doesn't suit you, so leave and don't come back. And I'll rotivate you under. You don't move fast. Well, five years later, Farmer John ran into Lamrod, who was rich, suburban, clean, and had it made. In grad school, he'd learned that farming was an antiquated habit. So there he was, a commodities broker on the Chicago Board of Trade. So there he was. Commodities broker on the Chicago Board of Trade.